Working with levels. In a multi-story building project, we may have uh, to break up the floor levels or have multi-stories uh, so that we would like to put a level for each story of the building. You can think of these levels in Revit as a horizontal plane, invisible horizontal plane. And then the distance between each level is our stories. And so we can define how tall our building is by those stories. And this is like the framework. Uh, different stories may have different elements on it. For example, the furniture on level one might be different than the furniture on level two. So we're defining things by its level. We can also have non-story levels. So non-story levels might be the parapet level. A parapet is the little wall that goes around the edge of the roof so that you don't walk off the roof. Uh, it's about usually two or three feet high and so you can't see the roof and so workers can not fall off. Uh, the sill level, the sill of the window sills for example, all, so that all the window sills are on the same level. So if we have these multiple stories in a particular building, we can have different walls, different windows, different doors, different furniture on each floor. And Revit can keep track of those things. We might only want an entrance door on the first floor. We don't want an entrance door falling out of the building. So you might on the second floor have a bay window, for example. So by default, Revit uh, creates a level 1 and a level 2 which can be renamed and you will find those uh, down down here in your floor plans you'll have a level 1 and level 2. You can of course rename them and you can add more levels uh, as we go.